just checking in. I just got showered, so my hair is like not styled or anything. I don't know why I feel like I have to justify myself to you guys every time I record, but I do. So um, I'm actually out of the house today, which I'm actually feeling pretty like happy about and upbeat about because I've been cooped up in the house for like two weeks now or I've just been cooped up for a long time. It feels like I've been cooped up all year, but it probably hasn't been as long as I think it feels like. But anyway, the point is, is I'm getting, I have to get out of the house for actually kind of negative reasons. I have to get my blood drawn today. Um, I have to get my blood drawn every single day, or every single day, every single week um, to check on my blood count and my HCG numbers until they're like zero basically and then right after this I actually have my follow-up appointment with my surgeon and my doctor to check things out I guess I'm not really sure what to expect at that appointment but um, I have to do this and then I have to go get checked out there so um, it just regardless it's still like even though it's kind of like for negative things ish I'm still like really happy to be just out of the house and like in the sunshine and just like, you know, with like clothes on that aren't pajamas. <laughs> so Cody, I actually, we are actually here now and Cody's got to help me get out of the car because I'm still having trouble, so. You got it? Yeah, I got it. Okay. Are you just going to stay in the car? Yeah. All right, I'll be back. All right, so just getting done with my blood draw. I'm just gonna, Cody just took the car so that the boys wouldn't get too antsy waiting in the waiting room. So I'm just gonna wait out front with him. Um, just got done with that. Ever since, I have never had a problem like getting blood done especially in like my forearms because apparently I have like really good veins here and like even donating blood and stuff like that it's just never been a problem but ever since this has all happened I'm assuming my blood levels are still really low or I'm not really sure but they have the hardest time getting blood from my veins now it takes so long and they have to usually poke me multiple times and it's just like such a frustrating experience every time I get my blood drawn now and this is the second time that I've gotten my blood drawn and the second time that they've poked my vein and then like they have like a little syringe that they're like pulling out and like when they pull it just like literally nothing comes out and they're like what the heck you know and this woman said maybe I was she was up against a valve maybe which I don't really know <clears throat> what that even means I don't really even know how it all works all I know is that Every single time I've had to get my blood drawn since this all started has been so difficult and so inconvenient and so frustrating on, for both parties, for me and I'm sure the phlebotomist as well because, you know, they're not able to get what they need. So, yeah, it just is frustrating. And it hurts too. It's not like it's this fun experience even to get it drawn like being poked even once and having your blood drawn. It's not like that's a fun experience. So I don't know. I'm trying to drink as much water. I know that it can be hard to get blood if you're like dehydrated. I'm trying to drink as much water as I can but I mean I don't know. I really don't know. I'm gonna stop talking about it now because I'm just I don't know. Now I've got to go to my doctor's appointment so see how that goes. I'm here at my doctor's appointment. They just got my weight and blood pressure and everything so I'm just waiting on the doctor now. It's been kind of triggering actually being here because there was like a bunch of pregnant ladies like really pregnant ladies in the waiting room so that was kind of triggering and I don't know I was kind of in a good mood to be out like out and, out and about of the house but now I'm kind of feeling like I don't know, bummed out, I guess. So just waiting for the doctor to see what we need and we'll go from there. Hey guys, sorry that I forgot to 
record after the doctor's appointment and everything. Um, I kind of wasn't feeling in the mood <laughs> anymore. I was like really happy to get out of the house and be in the sunshine and stuff like that after being on bed rest for like two weeks basically. And then I just, I don't know, after going through that appointment and seeing all the pregnant women in the waiting room, there was like five and they were just so happy and everything and I just, I don't know, it just kind of like tainted that whole experience, which I don't know what I expected, but she basically just like took a look at my incisions to see how like they were healing and um, she, uh, because I just got like my blood drawn today that uh, she didn't like have the results like yet. So, um, but I have to get them drawn every single week until my levels are zero. I was trying to ask her a, a few questions just like about everything because I guess I'm just still, I don't know, confused about the whole situation and I just feel like I'm not processing it. Like it just all just still feels like overwhelming and confusing to think about really. So I tried to ask her like what happened to like the mass that they took out, which I'm assuming they're referring to my baby. I like, I know that they're referring to it in like medical terms, but it just like, I don't know. I just, I just feel like people can't understand unless they've been through it. And so I just asked her like what happened to that because like I heard from other people who've been through ectopics before that like their hospital actually like released it to them and they had like this little funeral type thing for them or something. And I didn't even get a chance to have that. Like I, I wasn't, obviously I wasn't even thinking about that when I left the hospital and then, I don't know, I guess it just goes to medical waste and it just felt kind of, just sucked that it kind of like, I don't know, I feel like that hurt some, somehow or something. I don't know, I don't know. I just, I also tried to ask her like, if there was any possible way, if she could like, figure out like my due date and she said unless your periods are like really regular you know there was just no like ultrasound or anything to date it so she couldn't really tell me that and um so that I don't know I just feel like not only was there like a loss and it's just it's hard to to mourn a pregnancy that like almost killed you and it's a different type of grief because everything happens so quickly and your life is at stake and there's this huge weight and guilt that like you feel like you made a decision to, to end the pregnancy when I know logically there was no choice, but it there's just like that feeling that there is. I don't know how else to explain it. It just, it does. And I just feel like after everything that happened, which was so fast and so confusing and so just was overwhelming you know you can't even you don't even know what's happening for most of it i was left with nothing i have no ultrasound no due date i never heard a heartbeat i didn't even have a positive pregnancy test nothing i didn't even know i was pregnant before i ruptured and there's just nothing not even a due date Um, I kind of, after the appointment, kind of did like my own research and dated from my last period about approximately when it would be. And even though my periods aren't always regular and I have like longer cycles than I think the average woman does, um, I think it would be around sometime in January, calculating 40 weeks from my last period and everything. So. And when I think I might have ovulated, I don't know for sure, but I'm um, pretty sure from when I ovulated, it would be like around January 7th was the date I was getting. So um, I guess I will hold on to that as like a, a sir due date kind of thing since I don't really have like an official one and um, I don't know, it's just hard. 
just like this whole situation has just been hard. It's been hard because my life was threatened. It's hard because I had a loss. It's hard because I am now in a position where physically I'm unable to do much and and take care of my kids the way that I want to and um, just anything really. So I think that's where I'm gonna end it today, guys. It's been a busier day than I've had in the last couple weeks and so I'm just, I'm ready to call it. Thanks for watching guys, I'll see you next time.